When I decided that I would go to Paris, I thought I'd better learn a little French. So I enrolled in the Berlitz School of Languages, and after 20 lessons, I said it's a cinch. And even if I didn't know the language, I figured I would always have the book. And if anything should happen to confuse me, I'd just open up the book and have a look. But now I've been to Gay Paris, and I'm not one to preach. But really, Mr. Burles, there's so much that you don't teach. You didn't tell me about Pierre. When I saw him, I just couldn't help but stare. He sent a flower with his address. And when I got it, I was flattered, I confess. I ran right home then and got my book. But I didn't know exactly where to look. Cause Mr. Burlitz, it doesn't say what one should do when invitations come that way. And those French postcards that I bought, they weren't the Eiffel Tower like I thought. Oh, Mr. Burlitz, you should see the picture postcards that they sell in Gay Paris. There's one more thing, sir, not in your book. About the girls in Folies Bergere and how they look. Why they wear nothing from here to there. And the rest of their anatomy is bare. So, Mr. Burlitz, theoretically, you may know just what to teach about Paris. But, Mr. Burlitz, confidentially, you can learn a lot about Paris from me. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Let's write another book about Paris. Oh, yes, Paris in the spring. It's so gay, so daring. Strolling down the Rue de la Paix, the Frenchmen have such charming things to say. I remember how surprised I was one day when a handsome young French boy glanced my way. He looked at me, I looked at him, but neither of us could speak. I guess we were both overcome with emotion. But finally I managed to whisper, Bonjour, monsieur, comment allez-vous? And I shall never forget his answer. He said, Hiya, babe, let you and me get lost together. So, Mr. Burlitz, unquestionably, I'm the one who knows her way around the things that simply can't be found in any of the books about Paris. You can learn a lot.